Hey guys, it's Shane from Jags Journeys. I'm back today at SeaWorld Theme Park in the Gold Coast. Now it's been a little while since we've been back here, but we thought we'd come back today because today is the first birthday of the Leviathan Coaster opening. It's this time last year that we were here on opening day and got to experience the Leviathan Coaster. Uh, it was an amazing experience, especially checking out that whole queuing area and load and unload station for the very first time. That was absolutely amazing. So we've ridden it plenty of times since then, but we thought we'd come back today on the birthday and ride it again. We're also gonna have a look around the park today and give you some updates uh, so you'll know what to expect on your next visit this summer. Anyway, let's go and check it out now. So why don't you come along with me and join the journey. So just to let you know, uh, Vortex is still uh, currently down on maintenance. It reopens on the 16th of December, so at the moment you can't get access through here to Leviathan. You're actually going to go right around through past the Dockside Tavern. Well, hopefully when Vortex reopens, hopefully they've fixed that real loud squeaking or screeching sound. Needs a good oil by the sound of it. And currently Trident is down as well today on my visit. Uh, that is due to reopen though on the 4th of December. Just check their app for any further updates. All right, so we, uh, we're just gonna head around past the dockside to have into the Leviathan. Hopefully we'll get on the first ride of the day. All right, so just made it around to the Atlantis precinct to the Leviathan coaster, and it definitely looks like I will be able to get on the first ride of the day. Let's go. So here goes the first test ride of the day. Once it goes around, we'll be able to head up to the load unload station for the very first ride of the day. Here we go, we're walking up through the queuing area and straight up to the load unload station, ready for our first ride of the day on the Leviathan. Here it is, the load unload station. I absolutely love the theming in here. This is just simply awesome. All right, so here's our Uber, and I'm sitting toward the back this time. Uh, I really love the airtime this ride gives you toward the back, so uh, looking forward to that. Unfortunately, I'm unable to film on any of the rides here at SeaWorld, so my camera will have to be put into the boxes on the other side there, but I'll definitely see you as soon as I get off this ride.
Well, I'll tell you what, I sat at the back, second seat from the back, and the air time I got was awesome. And uh, I tell you what, that is really fast and intense. And I definitely love the Leviathan. It's probably been a month or so since I've actually ridden it, and uh, every time I ride it, it's just awesome. If you haven't ridden it, make sure you get here. I've got on first ride of the day, just come straight down here. Don't have to queue for long, it's fantastic. And there's my uh, ride photo. Looks like I've got my teeth grit. That's pretty cool. Really awesome. By the way, in case you didn't know, there is also a test seat here prior to riding, so if you're not sure uh, how you go from a comfort perspective into the seat, you can check that out here before you get into the queue. I tell you what, if you definitely come down to the Leviathan, first thing as soon as you get here, you only got to pretty much wait about 25 minutes or even 20 minutes or so until it actually opens at 10 a.m. And uh, yeah, I even got on the first ride today of the day. So the first ride of the first birthday, which was awesome. So yeah, again, I just, I, I do love this ride. Um, I sat at the back and I got a lot of air time at the back. Uh, looking for air time, definitely sit at the back. Uh, it's crazy, this, this coaster is intense and I love it. So uh, definitely make sure you check out Leviathan next time you're here at SeaWorld. By the way guys, uh, that height of this coaster is 32 meters and the overall track length is actually a thousand meters. And now it doesn't seem to take up a, a very big footprint, uh, but it winds around in on itself. Uh, that's what the crazy thing is about this coaster. And uh, it has a top speed of 80 kilometers an hour. So, Keep in mind you got 80 kilometers an hour and a thousand meters of track that's all sort of intertwined around itself. It's uh, it's intense and uh, it is simply awesome. Now this roller coaster goes for around about a minute and a half, uh, which is actually pretty decent and uh, it does feel like it goes longer than it actually should. So it's a decent length of time. And by the way, uh, when they built this roller coaster, it was delayed obviously by a year or so, but. Uh, it came at a cost of $20 million. So uh, unbelievable amount of money spent on this. And again, the theming in that queue line and the load and unload station particularly is next level. SeaWorld did as far as the theming for the load unload station for Leviathan again it's next level and it was just probably I guess setting the standard for Australian theme parks in terms of that should be the standard so um, yeah looking forward to see what goes into the Wizard of Oz as well well anyway happy first birthday Leviathan coaster uh, you're an awesome roller coaster and I'm sure we'll have plenty more awesome rides in the future. Hey guys, one of the awesome things about coming to SeaWorld is they have a number of shows that you can watch through the day. So uh, over here they have the seal show or sea lion show and they also have dolphin shows on here and a stunt show on Thunder Lake as well. So if you're planning to visit SeaWorld these Christmas summer holidays from after the 16th of December pretty much everything as far as rides and attractions will be back operational again ready for the peak Christmas and summer period. So uh, again, it's gonna be busy. If you get in here early, right on opening, get, go to the rides first that you wanna ride first. Uh, you got less queues then and uh, less time taken. They will be running, for example, two trains on Leviathan uh, during summer, so they will get through a lot more people quicker. But I would definitely suggest to get to some of the bigger rides, Storm, maybe Jet Rescue, first up in the morning. Obviously there's uh, shows to watch as well. There's, uh, as I said before, there's a dolphin show, there's a, a seal show, and there's also a stunt show on the lake as well. 
Now there, there is more than one show a day, so I'd suggest checking out the app before you come in. Try and sort of plan out your day. Uh, you can buy fast track for the rides if you if you can. It is, it is expensive, uh, especially if you've got a large group of you. Um, but again, if you can do it over a few days, even better, and you can try and spread the rides out. Um, I definitely SeaWorld is an awesome park to visit. You know, it's got the marine life, it's got rides, it's got shows, attractions. Uh, yeah, I'm, I love it here, so uh, it's a really nice feeling. Uh, you get a nice ocean breeze as well. And if you do want to cool down, the uh, some sprinklers actually just went off here on the gardens and completely sprayed me, which is really cool. It's about, well, it's over 30 degrees today here, so uh, that cooled me down really nicely, actually. So, uh, yeah, just a, there goes a handy hint for you. There it is there. Some sprinklers here, and if you stay on this side of the fence, it does actually get you from there. All right, so we're gonna have a quick walk around SeaWorld now and just uh, show you some of the other attractions and rides that are available here, so you'll know what to expect when you visit SeaWorld. So just next to the Atlantis Precinct or Leviathan, you've actually got Nickelodeon Land. So this is more for the smaller kids. Uh, still some pretty awesome rides in here. Let's go check some of them out now. Hey guys, so Dora's Fiesta Carousel it actually looks 100% put all back together again. However, there's no reopening date yet on their website or app. So again, we'll keep an eye on this one. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully it'll be open for these Christmas summer holidays. can meet some of the characters around the park. Um, this one here is where you meet Dora and uh, when you see these signs around the park you can actually scan the QR code and it'll actually tell you when they'll be out on the day. And you can meet also Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and SpongeBob SquarePants and Patrick as well. And also at the Nickelodeon stage here in Nickelodeon Land, they also have a Paw Patrol show and a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle show as well. You can just check out the app and it'll give you all of the show times. And by the way, the Dockside Tavern is a great place to have lunch, even get a coffee. And there's also a photo lab down underneath there as well. By the way, this is where you can meet the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All right, we're just gonna have a quick look at Jet Rescue and Storm, and we're gonna check out if they've finished the pathway uh, going back through from Storm to the Plaza. Let's go check it out. You like my oxygen, make it seem like the barge them. Got my heart no barge in from the bed to the floor to the couch. Might wake the neighbors up, break you in and break you out. In the end, we're gonna make the chat. Then we gonna hit the show. Part two, we don't need no pause. Misty, we gonna get tipsy, don't need a power shot. By the way, if you didn't know, Jet Rescue was Australia's first double launch coaster. I tell you what, Storm Coaster is awesome on a day like today when it's over 30 degrees. You will get wet and you might actually get soaked. If you don't want to get wet, too bad you will. You can wear a poncho or a little rain jacket that might help you a little bit. If you do get really wet when you come off the storm coast, so they do actually have a people dryer, it's about five dollars, and that's located down next to the ride photo store. Problem is, uh, I just walked past and there's a whole family just sitting in there seeking shade. So if you wanted to use it, 
you couldn't because these people were just sitting in there just trying to get out of the shade, which is a bit inconvenient, but what do you do? Got my heart no Right, I'm just up near Storm Coaster. Uh, I'll just take a look over this side here. This is where, obviously, uh, years gone by when the old flume ride just looked down into here uh, was the uh, load unload station. So, not much more has happened to this space here currently. Uh, so, we'll just keep our eye on this, but um, hopefully, they'll do something with this. Um, bit of an eyesore for this end of the park. There is obviously a uh, piece of machinery there so possibly they are doing something uh, we'll keep our eye on it all right so in between storm and ray reef definitely you're doing landscaping and pathways uh, it's not open yet but it's looking really nice and possibly very close to being open so uh, this indicates that we will in the future be able to get from storm through up to ray reef or essentially the plaza which I'll tell you what, is gonna be excellent because currently you gotta walk quite a way around it to get to this part of the park. So that's good. It looks like it's gonna be a nice, maybe a, a grass area, maybe we can put some grass down and, uh, and access. So definitely we can't wait for this. We'll keep you updated. But currently, uh, it's sort of as it was, a little bit further, but um, yeah, not open yet. Well, at least they have definitely started to concrete the pathway. So obviously this will be no doubt uh, taken down and we can provide an access way through that way but that's good to see that they're doing all the concreting now so it definitely looks like when you exit the plaza or ray roof that you will be able to walk down here and this is the uh the pathway which will link back up through to storm coaster so that's going to save heaps of time it's going to save you having to go all the way around through Nickelodeon land and back up past the storm coaster just to get to storm so this is going to be good hopefully it'll be open ready for peak and Christmas. So it's definitely going to make a big difference uh, being able to walk from the plaza or Ray Reef straight here to storm coaster. By the way lots of my VIPs subscribers are asking what's the status of the monorail at SeaWorld? Well that one is still sitting up in that station up there covered in dust it's not going anywhere I really don't think this will be operational ever again. And yes, it's one of my favorite areas here at SeaWorld, Castaway Bay. On a very hot day, this area is absolutely amazing. Uh, jump on those pirate ships. You will need a, probably a rashi. Uh, you will get completely soaked on this ride. And that's because of these cannons here, where we can uh, turn the handle and squirt the water at the people on here. They can also shoot us two of the cannons out here. This one here, no one on there. There's people coming around, so yeah, awesome ride to cool down on on a really hot day, and it is awesome. By the way, Castaway Bay is right down the back of the park, and it's actually opposite Dolphin Cove, where the Dolphin Show is. There's still no more uh, movement or construction happening around the castle, so uh, we'll keep our eye on this. In case of any further construction or in case they're you know, changing this into something different or knocking it down in the future, I hope they don't because it's a pretty cool looking castle. But uh, anyway, nothing more to report here. We'll keep our eye on it and keep it updated. Don't forget, you can do a glass bottom boat tour on Shark Bay like these guys are doing here. They're about $15 per person, you just book when you get here. Uh, this is pretty cool. It goes for about 10 or 15 minutes. And you can look right down through the glass bottom boat into Shark Bay, which is pretty cool.
And don't forget at Shark Bay, they do have an underwater viewing area. We're going to check that out now. It's really awesome, actually, uh, especially on a hot day. Uh, it's nice and cool down there. So we'll go check it out. I'll tell you what, the air conditioning down there, the underwater viewing gallery is nice and icy cold. So it is like over 30 degrees today. It's very, very hot and humid here in the Gold Coast. And I'll tell you what, just five minutes down there brings the body temperature down. It's fantastic. Make sure you always keep hydrated also when you're here at the Gold Coast theme parks, particularly if you're not used to hot weather. And don't forget here at SeaWorld, you can also check out the polar bears. Hey, if you're gonna check out the polar bears, here's a handy hint. See the sign here, uh, there's a QR code. Scan that, it tells you what time the keeper is gonna be doing their talk. And the reason why that's important is you, you learn a bit about the polar bears, but also they tend to feed them at that time and they're quite active usually at that time as well. Now they do also have an underwater viewing area for the polar bears. We're getting up the top at the moment to look down, but down here you can walk into uh, essentially a, like in a, kind of like what we saw at Shark Bay. But if the polar bears dive into the water, you can see them up close. It's pretty cool. Uh, they're not doing a talk at the moment, but I'll just see if there's any polar bears out. They might be asleep, it's a really hot day. So as I was saying before, they're not doing a talk at the moment. Uh, it's a really hot day. That'd be probably inside in the shade, I'd imagine. But when there is a talk on, they're out here on the rocks, they're normally diving into the water. And down there you can see the windows of the under, underwater area. And yeah, when they come up to the glass, it's amazing because they are massive. It's pretty cool. Now, if you're looking for lunch, head to the plaza. It's also under covers. There's a bit of shade in there as well. And they've also got all the Midway games in here as well that you can play while you're in here having lunch. And yeah, pretty cool. Awesome prizes as well. By the way, they have a pizza shop in here. If you're looking for pizza for lunch, you know we have some lunchtime specials. And sometimes they have specials out on the front as well. And of course they've got a Village Bean coffee shop in here. Uh, actually you must be due for a coffee any minute. And then also next door there's Prime Burgers, which is where you can get your burgers, chips and hot dogs. And by the way, just like Movie World, you can also scan, order, pay and pick up your food from this QR code here. So find yourself a table, do it all from your QR code and then you can just pick up your food. And by the way, for Christmas here at SeaWorld, you can meet Santa here in the plaza Get a photo of Santa on his throne, a couple of jet skis and surfboards either side. So there'll be certain times of the day that Santa will be here. Uh, just check the app or just check at guest services and they'll let you know when you can meet Santa here in the plaza. Well, I think it's time for a coffee, but I think today I'm gonna get a frappe. By the way, it looks like they've got Anytime Donuts now. You can get a donut coffee from $10. Also, they do freshly blended smoothies for $10 here at the Village Bean. Hey guys, I just want to give a really big shout out to Trevor Howe and to Peter S. Uh, thank you so much all for buying me coffees this week. It really does help support my channel. And if anyone else would also like to support my channel, just like they did, the link is in the description below. It's also on screen now. By buying me coffees, definitely helps me bring more videos just like this straight to you. 
tell you what, on a really hot day, you want to take advantage of the $17 all day bottomless sipper for soft drink. Uh, also, you can get uh, $4 for frozen uh, fills on this one as well, which is pretty cool. Plus, you can take it to any other Village Roadshow theme park and reactivate it for just $10 on another day. Damn it, all the snow cone, ice cream and drink stands are very busy today all around the park. By the way guys, uh, Sea Jellies is back open again right now. Now if you want to get out of the heat and see something really awesome as well, check out the Penguin Encounter at the front of the park, it's awesome. Let's take a look. Always love checking out the penguin encounter here at SeaWorld. Once again, it's an awesome place to cool down. The aircon in there is icy cold, but the penguins are awesome uh, and it reminds me of the Happy Feet movie. So I love it. Check it out. So that's going to do it for my look today here at SeaWorld Theme Park in the Gold Coast. The first birthday of the Leviathan roller coaster. I tell you what, it was really good to be here. or well, back here on the first birthday. I was here for opening day and today I got the first ride of the day uh, for the first birthday. So that was pretty exciting and I love this ride. Again, awesome ride. Maximum speed of 80Ks per hour. It is very exhilarating and lots of air time, particularly if you hit the back. It is so good. But anyway, I uh, had a good look around the park. Um, so after the 16th of December, everything will be open, ready to go for the Christmas summer holidays. So if you are traveling to the Gold Coast, to SeaWorld, uh, these holidays, after the 16th, everything will be open. And you'll have an awesome day out here at SeaWorld. Again, make sure you get on the app, plan your day. Uh, there's lots of shows and attractions and rides to do. Keep hydrated, it's very hot. Bring a rashi or swimmers if you want to get cooled down, down at Castaway Bay or the reef down there as well. Um, plus also if you're riding the Storm Coaster. Um, certainly ways to cool down here at SeaWorld. Keep hydrated, the uh, all day sipper is definitely good value for money. Anyway guys, uh, if you do like this kind of content, please make sure you subscribe for more. It is free to subscribe. Make sure you give our videos a like. And don't forget if you're coming to the Gold Coast theme parks, particularly on the weekends, why don't you ask the staff on the way in? Hey, it's Jake's Journeys here today. You just never know what they might say. Anyway guys, Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next journey.